Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Susan's Just Making It. I'm Susan and I'm here making stuff, messes, chaos, and making it through life. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you are a new subscriber, I'd like to welcome you to my channel. If you like today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up right down here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would enjoy it if you'd consider doing so. And it's the red little subscribe button below. If you hit that button, you might as well hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. Happy Mask Monday, everyone. Um, I hope everyone's week is off to a wonderful start. And today I am going to be doing a face mask. And I have some this or that questions that I'm going to try to go through while I do my mask. I thought I would try a something a little different. I know I've done a couple question videos, but I don't know. I just tried to pick out some fun questions that I, I found a list and they were kind of fun. So I thought I would um, try those today and see how many I can get through without the video getting too long. So anyway, today I'm going to be doing this um, Revital Collagen Mask. It's a 15 minute mask pack. And I'll just the package. It says, um, just 15 minutes after supplying sufficient botanical nutrients through a mask for just 15 minutes, irritated and dehydrated skin caused by stress and harmful environment changes to glowing healthy skin. And it says, um, marine collagen, which is extracted from the ocean, provides nutrition and moisture to the skin, leaving the skin moisturized and more youthful. Refreshing and moisturizing essence um, type to target and treat for daily skin maintenance. It says, after cleansing, apply a skin toner to your face, which I just cleaned and toned my face. Um, take the mask out of the package and unfold it carefully. Apply the mask to your face. After 15 minutes, take the mask off and let the remaining essence absorb into your face by lightly patting it. So that's the mask I'm going to do today. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So I brought a mirror so I can see what I'm doing this week. And I brought some towels because I know it's going to be messy. So hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier. So I could just get that off. And let's see. Um, yeah, it's pretty wet. The inside of the foil pack's pretty drippy. Let's put that off to the side. So, um, how was everyone's weekend? I hope you were able to enjoy the weekend. Um, hopefully the weather's nice where you are. It's been really nice here. A little bit cooler, which I'm not complaining because, um, going from chilly to 90 doesn't work for me. It's been a little bit better. It's been in the, like, 70s and stuff like that and hitting it's been hitting the low 80s which is fine but um once you start getting up in the 90s it's a little uncomfortable sometimes so i'm just gonna see so let's see if i can get this on without too many problems it smells good it's got a very clean smell to it i really like the way it smells fresh and clean so <clears throat> folded here but I can't tell her it's folded in or folded there we go not so terrible love the way it smells it has such a nice clean smell to it so so that was pretty easy I think that's the easiest I've ever put a face mask on to be honest perfect fit. Unfolded easy, went on easy. Probably never happen again. But yes, it's very, very, very drippy. Okay. I think we're good for now. Okay. So, like I said, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do for Mask Monday this week. So I thought, oh, people have been doing some this and that questions. I really haven't, um, didn't want to use everybody else's, so I just went on the internet and found a few lists and I picked out one that I thought had some good questions so I thought I would try that and um, if anyone would like to do this for their mask Monday or a video feel free to um, take the questions and use them for your own um, if I remember <laughs> I always say I'm gonna do stuff and sometimes I just forget if I remember I'm gonna go ahead and I'll put the questions down in my description box so if anyone wants to do the same questions they'll be there for you so let's see number one says um, bad haircut or bad dye job? I take a bad dye job any day over a bad haircut. Um, where I live, 
there's a lot of chlorine in the water um so every time i color my hair it doesn't last anyway so i'll take a bad <laughs> dye job over a bad haircut bad haircut you have to figure out how you're going to style it and wing it and you it take it seems to take forever for your hair to grow out when you have a bad haircut so i'll take the bad day, dye job um pineapple pizza or candy corn not particularly a fan of candy corn i'll eat it but it's not my favorite I'll take it any day over pineapple pizza. I know some people love pineapple on their pizza. I just can't wrap my head around it. So I'll eat the candy corn. Now I have a niece that puts um, pineapple rings on her hamburger. And I've never heard of that before either. But she loves it. And she's like, oh, it's really good. You want to try it? I'm like, no, I'm good. <laughs> just give me a regular hamburger. I don't want no pineapple on my hamburger either. Um, number three, winning the lottery or finding your soulmate. Mm, I'll win the lottery even if it's ten dollars I'll take the lottery I don't feel like I'm ever gonna meet my soulmate I don't know that I ever did <laughs> now that I look back on life I think maybe my soulmate like got hit by a bus or my soulmates probably like Shrek riding donkey or something I just don't see it happening but I'll take the money I'll take the money you know um <clears throat> Test the waters or dive in the deep end. Dive in the deep end. I've always been like that when I was younger and swimming. You know, everyone else is putting their little feet in, testing how cold the water is. Just dive in. You'll get used to it. Same thing with life. Just dive in. Go big or go home. <laughs> Sometimes I live to regret that, but yeah. <laughs> go big or go home. Dive right in. Do it all or nothing. <laughs> um five sort by price or by rating i always sort by price i'm guilty of that unless it's like a really 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 like major purchase that i'm looking for like um electronics or something that's expensive that i is a bigger investment that's going to last a long time yeah i will check ratings if i need it to um perform specifically for something that's really important other than that price every single time price i'm a bargain shopper i'm not going to pay more than i have to uh, let's see. <laughs> Number six, guacamole or salsa? Hands down salsa. I do not like avocados. No guacamole for me. I'll take the salsa. Just, I know avoc avocados are good for you. They got the healthy fat and, and stuff like that. Now I'll take avocado and like hair care and skin care, but to eat it, no, I'll pass. And I'm one of those people, at least try it before you say you don't like it. I tried it. I don't like it. Um, Let's see, number seven, a store where every item is free or a restaurant where every dish is calorie free. I'll take a store where every item is free um, versus the restaurant where it's calorie free because I don't go out to eat a lot and I could have more restraint in a restaurant if I'm worried about my calories, I'll just be mindful of what I order, but a store where everything is free. We'll have the biggest Christmas ever. <laughs> you know, think about it. it. Depending on what store it is, I guess. Um, you could stock up. You could, you know, buy tons of stuff for gifting. Any need that you have. Yeah, I'll shop till I drop. Literally, I will shop until I drop. Restaurant, eh. You know, I look like I'm worried about calories, right? Um, let's see. Number eight. Loud neighbors are nosy neighbors. Um, usually I have both, so <laughs> if I could choose just one or the other, I'd be happy with just one or the other instead of loud and nosy. But if I had to pick, that's a hard one. Noisy neighbors or I guess I would take nosy neighbors because noisy neighbors, what time of day are they noisy? You know, um, nosy first of all my life isn't that exciting so they don't have much to be nosy about and if they're nosy um i can play that game and give them something interesting to watch but no on a serious note my life is not that exciting there's not much to be nosy about so i'll take the nosy neighbors i guess um number nine rich and famous or rich and unknown rich and unknown I have no desire for fame in any way, shape, or form. Um, the more people that know you have money, the more people 
come out of the woodwork and you have friends and family you never knew about and stuff. So I'd be rich and keep it to myself. I don't want to be rich and famous. I don't need to prove anything to anybody or be celebrity in any way. So I'd be rich and unknown. Um, number 10, art museum or history museum? Hands down, history museum. I am not particularly a fan of art museum because a lot of things that people consider art, I can't wrap my head around and I don't appreciate I guess because I don't understand it I don't have an appreciation for it I guess but um a history museum oh my gosh I would be in heaven when I was in high school we took a trip to um New York City and we went to the Metropolitan Museum oh my gosh I loved it I could we only had a limited amount of time because we had other things to do while we were there I could spend all day there and go back the next day loved it history museum any day and which is ironic because I'm not a history fan as far as like dates and details but museum wise I really enjoy things like that um 11 owe money or owe a favor I'll owe money money concrete I owe you ten dollars I will give you ten dollars a favor you never know exactly what that favor is going to be or when somebody's going to call you on that and it's not concrete I like to deal with details and concrete physical type things if I owe you ten dollars I owe you ten dollars a favor I don't know I might not want to do that favor that particular time that you need it I know it sounds selfish but being honest I'll I'll owe money before I owe a favor um, coffee or tea hands down tea I hate coffee I know I'm weird I hate coffee don't like it Try, again don't say you don't like it if you haven't tried it. I've tried it. I've tried it with cream. I've tried it with sugar. I've tried flavored. I've tried hot coffee, cold coffee. I don't like coffee. Just don't. I don't. I have not acquired a taste for it. And in 51, almost 51 years, if I don't like it, I doubt I'm ever going to like it. No coffee for me. I will drink iced tea, preferably unsweetened. I know it's in the South. Um, sweet tea is the thing. Even when I was down South, no, I don't like sweet tea. It's like syrup to me. But then again, I drink diet sodas and stuff like that. And um, even hot tea. I'll drink hot tea. I'll drink it either black or I'll drink it with like a little bit of milk. Um, I can drink it with sweetener, without sweetener. Um, sun tea. Summer, you throw your tea bags, put it out in the sun or whatever. Tea all day. Coffee, negative. Um, city or countryside? Countryside. Where I live, it's not like a huge city, but it's more urban. And my goal is to, hopefully sooner than later, get into a more rural setting. Um, not much for the city life. I'm over it. I mean, it's convenient to get to things and stuff's close by, but countryside. Wine or beer? Hands down, that's an easy one too. Beer before wine. I hate, I'm not a wine drinker. Again, tried it. I've tried a few that I, I don't mind. But most of them, nope, not a wine drinker. Beer, I'm not a huge beer drinker, but I'll drink a can of beer before I drink wine. Um, roommates are live alone. Another easy one, live alone. Roommates suck. <laughs> live alone, roommates. I mean, it was bad enough. You know, parent and kids growing up, that's one thing. But when my kids were adults and moving back home, oh my God, nightmare. Because they're grown because you can't tell them anything. Um, roommates, it's a horror story. You think you know somebody. You don't know somebody until you live with them. And then if they decide they don't want to, you know, go halves, what happens if they decide they don't want to pay their half, you know? And what if you're neat and they're messy or, you know, I, uh, I'm just not for it, you know? I, I live alone. I've been alone. My son moved out the last time early December. And I enjoy my solitude and peace. Um, let's see. 16. Hang out with little kids or old folks. I guess it depends on the day and how much energy I have. Kids is nice to hang out with sometimes because they have a lot of energy and the innocence. And um, they're fun to watch. And, you know, they can be interesting and funny and stuff like that. But you got to have the energy for little people because they, they have way too much energy. Um, old folks, I do like hanging out with older people. I was at the flea market, I think it's about three week, three four weeks ago now, and I ran into somebody that I was an acquaintance with, and we got to talking, and 
he's not like a lot older than I am but then again I'm not young I'm gonna be 51 years old I think he's in his 60s and we got to talking and then a friend of his happened along and he's I would venture to say at least close to 80 and anyway we got in conversation and they had a booth with chairs and we sat down we started talking and I think it was a few hours we were visiting and I always find it interesting because they always have interesting things to share experiences knowledge we talked about you know it's funny how a conversation will start at one thing and go to something else we started talking about canning and making pickles and raising kids and technology and we hit on so many topics and it's interesting they have you have more genuine conversation I think with older people and sometimes I think talking to older people you get like a window into the past they usually have very interesting stories to share so um, I, I can I enjoy hanging out with older people and with kids so it just depends on the day little kids you gotta have the energy for I think um, 17 french fries or onion rings no question about it french fries not a fan of onion rings um tattoo or piercings tattoos the only piercings i have are my ears i have three holes in each ear and my mother um, <laughs> it's funny when my mom was alive i was almost considering getting a fourth one she's like i think you got enough holes in your head i'm like okay <laughs> um tattoos um if you don't have tattoos you probably don't understand but anyone with tattoos um they can be addicting so you got to be careful if you're a person that um can't exercise restraint maybe you just don't get any tattoos to start with because they do getting addicting seems like as soon as you get one you're thinking of an idea for the next one not that I my whole body's tattooed or anything by any means um I have four <laughs> four and the first one I got when I was 20 and the last one I got was just I think four years ago and a lot of people will ask me I mean like I said by no means am I completely tattooed and I make sure there were they're covered you know because some people are more conservative than others um and I had a nephew and a couple people ask me about like before getting a tattoo what was my advice I said, don't go big the first time do not get a huge tattoo the first time just don't do it <laughs> yeah, yeah. but um I don't know uh, piercings I mean I th like to think I'm pretty open-minded I do not mind tattoos I do not mind piercings and alterations and whatever color hair and whatever it doesn't bother me I mean I'm a kind of person that I believe in happy mediums versus extremes I do think there's a such thing as going too far but at the end of the day it's your body you know however you want to modify it the only thing I have to say about that like I said I would like to think I'm not closed-minded um, my daughter has quite a few tattoos I don't even know the last count she goes to nice um, tattoo artists and they're, it's beautiful work and but I don't have an opinion it's your body and, it, and the art is good and you know but to be mindful of how society looks at it some people are accepting and some aren't and my older son has he's pretty covered and the only thing I told him is because he jokes around because he knows he gets to me he's like oh I'm gonna get my face tattooed I'm like no you're not no you're not you're not give her enough time finding a job as it is do not tattoo your face I will like smack the crap out of you I don't care that you're like gonna be 26 years old don't do it I mean he's got he's finding out because he's got a couple tattoos on his neck and he has one of his hands and he's he's finding that it, he runs into problems with like employment and dealing with certain um, populations and I'm like I tried to tell you I have no problem with you getting tattoos but to be mindful of how other people perceive that and I'm gonna take this off because it's been on long enough and it's starting to get all dry down here at the bottom but um I believe you know you're entitled to do whatever you want as long as you're um willing to um deal with the consequences of what you do I've always said that my entire life with people you can do whatever you want if you want to deal with the consequences that come with the action and like I'm, I find I'm getting on a soapbox here and that's not what my intention is to get stuck on location because on a soapbox it just I don't know guess I have more to say about that particular question um so you know that's that's everybody's individual thing and I I don't judge people based on that you know some of the nicest people um are tattooed from head to foot and some of the biggest hypocrites go to church every week so but anyway getting back to the list um tattoos or piercings um I'm more a fan of tattoos than piercings so um 
19, painful truth or comforting lie? Painful truth. Um, a lie is still a lie, no matter whether what the intentions behind it are. I've had people that have um, lied to me, and when I call them out on it, oh, I didn't lie to you. I just didn't tell you the whole truth. I'm like, it's the same thing. And this thing, oh, I didn't tell you, or I, it's a little white lie that I told because I didn't want to hurt you. Um, let me be the judge of how I interpret the lie or the information or whatever it is. Um, I'd rather have somebody tell me the truth, no matter how painful it is, and then I can choose to deal with it however I need to, versus somebody lying to me, and then when I find out later, I really don't have much trust in you, and I'm usually angrier when I find out later on. Um, there's a saying, and I believe it 100%, and I say it all the time, I'd rather be smacked with the truth than kissed with a lie. I, a lie is still a lie. Um, and the last one, bath or shower? Shower. Not much of a bath person. Never really have been that much. Shower. To me, a shower is just, you feel oh so refreshed and so much better. Sometimes I'll be in a bad mood or if it's a day where I'm sweating and stuff, you'd be amazed how much better you feel after a shower. A bath, I know they're relaxing and stuff like that, but to me, it's just... I know this is going to sound really gross and stuff, and I don't mean to offend people that like taking baths, but to me and some other people in my family, it's like we're on the same page with it. When you take a bath, you're basically stewing in your filth and dead skin cells, and once the soap's not bubbly anymore, it's kind of nasty. <laughs> Just my opinion. And on the very rare occasion that I take a bath, like if I need to relax or soak, I take a bath and then drain the water and then stand up and shower and rinse off and stuff like that because it's just your skin cells, the soap, the dirt and oils. No, I'm not going to sit in my own filth. And sorry if it offended the bath people. That wasn't my intention. This is my personal opinion on that. So that's my 20 little this or that questions that I jotted down on a piece of paper or that I, I found a list online. I thought they were kind of, you know, neutral fun questions so I will try to remember to put them down in the description box if anyone wants to um, do these questions for their own mask Monday or another video you're more than welcome to do so I might tag a few channels and see if they're interested in um, answering the same questions um, the mask felt really good my, my face feels really 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 moisturized um, sometimes after I do a face mask I feel like a little sticky from the essence and getting a little bit out of my forehead but it, I do feel like it feels moisturized and it almost has a plumper feeling not touching it with my um fingers but just from inside out it feels like plumping or moist so that felt pretty good i enjoyed that mask it was um juicy but not terribly so where it was dripping all over my clothes so that is my mask monday um i hope everyone is um having a great day so far no matter what time of day you're watching it that your week is off to a a nice start it's always nice to start your week off good sometimes a bad start to the week it's sometimes it can have a domino effect so um that is all i have for some reason it's snagging at me i feel like i'm freaking something but i don't know maybe i am maybe not but until next time bye and have a wonderful week